Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 4 verses 18 to 23. Here's the word of God. Moses went back to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said to him, Please let me go back to my brothers in Egypt to see whether they are still alive. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. And the Lord said to Moses in Midian, Go back to Egypt, for all the men who were seeking your life are dead. So Moses took his wife and his sons and had them ride on a donkey and went back to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the staff of God in his hand. And the Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you do before Pharaoh all the miracles that I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart so that, for, so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my firstborn, and you say to you, Let my son go, that he may serve me. If you, ref if, if, if you refuse to let him go, behold, I will kill your firstborn son. Exodus 4, 18 to 23. And here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. Moses' return to Egypt. After a lot of convincing by God, Moses finally obeyed the Lord. He asked Jethro's permission to leave with his household. Jethro gave Moses his approval and sent him peace. He took his wife and his sons and left Midian to proceed. Here's my commentary. In this account, we still witness God's loving protection and provision for Moses. He informed him that those people who wanted him dead were all dead by that time. But Moses was reminded again that he has to do what he asked of him. He needs to see to it that Pharaoh and the Israelites know who his one true God is. Through the miracles that he gave Moses, he will manifest his power and might. He also refer, reiterated to Moses that he will harden Pharaoh's heart and will give him a hard time to, uh, to, to other, in other words, Moses was, uh, he will harden Pharaoh's heart and give him a hard time. In other words, Moses was truly prepared by the Lord to face all these obstacles that will come to his way. But I don't think Moses had any idea how big the task ahead of him was to deliver very rebellious and hard-hearted people. As we all know how the story ended. The few months journey out of Egypt turned into a 40 years journey. Because of grumbling, unbelief, and idolatry, God's people were in the wilderness journey for decades. Here's a reflection. What do you think uh, was Moses' thoughts while he was journeying back to Egypt? Well, that is a long time to go back to Egypt because he spent 40 years in Midian. So it must have been uh, a pretty scary thing for him to go back there. And the hardest thing more is to deliver what God wants him to do, to tell Pharaoh all these words and to convince the Israelites that he was sent by God. So um, I think we, we have a tendency to doubt what God is going to uh, deliver us to or uh, ask us to do for him uh, because we, we get a focus on how we feel, on what we went through, on how traumatized we were or how fearful we are. So 
Moses' return to Egypt is not about him. It's about God using him to deliver his people. So um, if he hasn't taken that, and we see previously to this chapter is that he is trying to barter to get out of this uh, calling that God has called him. So I would say that a lot of his thoughts would probably be on how inadequate he is or how is he going to do this. So it's still unbelief or a doubting that he is capable of doing uh, what God asked him to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and give you the Word of God. Uh, if you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done in this 12 years I've been doing this daily. Uh, just type on Google or YouTube search Ilma's Poem Devotional. Have a wonderful day.